What's up guys? My name is Skill87 and today's video is just a bunch of random shit. So um uh, June 21st is gonna fucking suck my wallet because three games are coming out. Uh Dungeon Siege 3 wasn't really impressed with the demo at all, but early reviews are coming up for the game is getting 8.5s and like nines. So like what the fuck? This demo did not do this game just so I'm gonna pick it up, see what it's all about. I mean the demo was alright, but at the same time it wasn't alright. It was just like meh. And then um uh, Shadows of the Dam looks fucking dope. Like, you gotta look at the videos and gameplay for this game. It's fucking great. Very hellish, evil, gory, over the top shit, but it's like a comedy game in disguise. You gotta check this shit out. Fear 3, come on now. Fear 1 was the shit. Fear 2 was great. Why not? Fear 3, fuck yeah. What am I currently playing? Uh, Final Fantasy 13. Now, before I get on to this, I wanna give a big shout out to 16 bit junkie. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have started playing this game again. I, like many other fucking idiotic gamers, stopped playing Final Fantasy XIII because of this one simple fact that it was linear. Now, I went back, I started playing the game, and I'm like instantly, like, I totally fall in love with the game, like all over again. This game is fucking awesome, alright? I don't care if it's linear. I really don't because I see why it's linear. I opened my mind up, and I decided to do the same thing 16-bit Junkie did. He didn't play this game and compare it to previous Final Fantasies. Sure, it's Final Fantasy and it's 13, but he didn't like play the game thinking it's like it's gonna be just like every other Final Fantasy. This was a, a Final Fantasy in a different direction. If you play games like Final Fantasy 8, I mean 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, they all had the same concept of, you know, fucking around the dungeon, you fuck shit up. And then you get to a town, and you catch up on the story, and you stock up on materials, weapons, and you, and you do go to the next dungeon, and you get more storage like that. And that's typical RPG shit. Final Fantasy XIII tries something new. It got rid of the whole town shit, and basically, like, just a straightforward adventure. The concept and idea behind the game was a complete on-the-go adventure. No pit stops, on-the-go shit. Your, your save point was your shop. You synthesized all your shit there. You did everything on the go. You were constantly on an adventure, no downtime. The graphics in this game for multi-platform game are fucking great. The battle system is off the hook. The music is very nice. All the characters are fucking wonderful. The battle system, you know, it's like, it's so like fast paced and cinematic. It's, it's a, such a good game. I have no fucking clue why I stopped playing this game. Now I'm playing it again. I'm like obsessed with it. Yo, this game is the shit. I'm like straight up grinding. I'm loving this game. And for those who have not watched E3, Final Fantasy Final Fantasy 13 Dose is going to rectify and fix the issues of Final Fantasy 13 that people seem to have had. Final Fantasy 13 2, slated for release in 2012, will bring back towns, new playable characters, and a much more like interactive battle system. Basically, what people wanted. But do not skip Final Fantasy 13. I fucking love it. Do not play this game thinking it's going to be like previous Final Fantasies. Just give it a shot. Sure, it is linear. But it's linear for a reason. It has a very good story. And the battle system's great. And, like, there's a fucking black dude with a choke on his hair. Like, what more can you fucking want than a black man with a fucking mini fro and a choke on his fucking hair with dose gats? Seriously. Can we stereotype harder? No, we cannot. Um, check out the video description below. Because y'all yeah, motherfuckers need to go subscribe to 16-Bit Junkie. This dude does a video like once every fucking four or five months. But every video he does, it's like really good. Every video he does is like really good. Yeah, he had like such an open mind about gaming. He plays all these different types of games. His last video he was talking about, I played Portal, Final Fantasy 13, and Jet Set Radio Future. I'm like this. What? But uh, this guy is so fucking awesome. He deserves more subscribers. His channel deserves more views. His video deserves more views. Go check this fucker out. Um... In terms of, besides me playing this, the reason I stopped playing PS3 exclusives like Killzone 3 and SOCOM, one, well, the, the slate of SOCOM pads didn't do shit for me. Sure, they fixed the fucking, you know, that super mine that everyone was using, but the camera still sucks. And I hate how you move in SOCOM games. Like, your character feels so stiff. The camera still, to me, is fucked up. I hate how this fucking camera is so close. Your character is so close to the fucking screen. Why is the character so close to the fucking screen? Why is it when I run... The fucking character covers half my fucking screen. Why? Why? And why do people get headshots like nothing? Like, I, I, I seriously just, I don't even aim. I just shoot and I get headshots. Like, this game is so fucking lame and boring. I cannot believe 
SOCOM 4 is this bad. And if you go to the fucking official forums and look at how they're going to pass the game, you have to wait another month for a party system. And then we're going to have to wait another month for a fucking revised mic system because SOCOM 4 features like the most horrendous fucking mic system ever. Talking to your friends and talking to your opponents is like retarded. Why can't I just play the game like Call of Duty? I'm not trying to say like any games for Call of Duty. I'm talking about the mic system, right? Matter of fact, any other game. Like all the games pretty much follow the same formula Call of Duty does. You turn your mic on and you talk and everyone on your team can fucking hear you. Why can't every fucking game be like this? Why do I gotta press a fucking button on a D-pad and I get 10 seconds of talk time? Why? It makes no fucking sense. Just let me talk. Seriously. And then Killzone 3. Alright, Killzone 2 was a beast. I got the platinum in that game. Killzone 2 was great. I like Killzone 3 a lot. But... There's fucking like, dude, there's a suck, there's fucking C4, every fucking gonna play. Anytime I play Kills on 3, and they, they just recently passed the 2, I'm like, yeah, Kills on 3, they patch 1.10. Yes, hooray and shit. C4 everywhere. Every five steps I fucking take, C4, C4, C4. I swear to God, I joined the game, I died 10 times straight to fucking C4. And I'm for the same guy. Like, I literally died from everyone on the opposing team. One person got C4 killed, every single person got C4 killed on me. I'm like this, seriously, with the control of my hand, like... Fuck! It's so stupid, like... Why can't game developer just get it right? Right? Ugh! Fucking overpower C4 is overpowered. SOCOM 4, like, every time I try, I try to give this game a chance, right? SOCOM community, bear with me. I still want to give the game a chance. I'm playing it! I'm trying! But, it just sucks! Your game sucks! Zipper, you fucked up! It's like... Like, the game looks appealing, and you have all these types of guns, and the maps are cool and shit, but you just can't get it right. There's so many little things you can't do. You fuckers need to watch Black Widow on YouTube, and hire this fuck. Let Black Widow, all right, this fucking white dude that's bald, and he makes such awesome fucking videos, and he's just, he's just, like, just let him, like, hire him for a day. Let him, just let him go to your fucking studio. All right, and let Black Widow write you on a piece of fucking paper what to do in SOCOM. He has been playing SOCOM since SOCOM was fucking invented. He has played them all. He is a true veteran. I played earlier SOCOM games, but I did not call myself a veteran because I'm not a veteran. I played the SOCOM games. I dabbled with them. I had my fun with them. But fucking Black Widow actually plays SOCOM the same way I play Call of Duty. He plays SOCOM, so he actually has a lot more ground talk shit than me. All right. But, dude, this game is like, oh, it's so fucking bad. I can't believe it. Like, it's ten times better than confrontation. That's not saying much. Let's put it that way. And it fucking kills on three and it's fucking C4s and shit. But, uh, I'm thinking about downloading the DLC for Super Street Fighter 4. Where you can get, like, Oni Akuma and Evil Ryu and Yin and Yun. If you have it, tell me what it's like. Is it worth, is it worth 15 bucks? And, uh, I was thinking about downloading Outlander because Outlander is a fucking gorgeous, fucking awesome game. It's, like, totally just, like, Beast mode, like straight up, 100%. And, uh, what else? You know, like, I said, like Platinum, the Infamous Dose. I really have nothing to play. Like, I have lots of games, obviously. I have hella fucking games. And speaking of that shit, why is it I get, like, a fucking request every day, every fucking day? Can I see a game set up? Can I see a game set up? Can I see a game set up? Can I see a game? I trade in a lot of my games. I trade a lot of them in. I, the only games I keep are the ones I have, like, you know, like, sentimental value to me. But I trade a lot of games, and I don't feel like showing you my fucking game setup. I have a 55-inch Samsung LED, 240 gigahertz, uh, 1080p, all this other bad sense. It's a big-ass TV. I tell you to know, like, that's my game setup. I don't have no super surround sound. I got PS3 and Xbox and a bunch of games and a big-ass TV. That's my setup. And there's my fucking fan in the background that makes my room less dusty because it's awesome. Because hey, I have, like, asthma and shit. That, there's my setup. You guys happy? And I have a pair of AX720 Tritons. Ooh. Like, what is everyone's obsession with seeing people set up? I have a big ass TV. That's my setup. Ooh. Fucking shit. But, um. Oh, I gotta get this out there. This is my, uh. My Joy Charger. It's fucking amazing and shit. I got this game, right? Y'all need, need to go download this shit. Um. Go to the marketplace. Go to top paid for games. Top paid for games, right? And download 
Xenonia 2. It's a fucking dollar. It is one dollar. And it plays like, it's such a fucking beast RPG in the palm of your hand. You ever play games like Maple Story? You ever play like these really cool online RPGs that are free on the PC, but they have so much death to them? It's retarded. Like, you can't even believe this game is actually fucking free. You can literally, literally only play this game as your choice of RPG and play for fucking weeks to months and shit. Xenonia is a dollar. Xenonia 1 and 2 are both a dollar. And they're fucking really deep. Like, it's like playing an anime version of Zelda. They're fucking awesome. Get those two games, Xenonia 1 and 2, they're a dollar. I got it for the fucking joy. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I need to just make this video. I need to rant. I need to yell at something because, I don't know. That's such a great day, though. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go play Final Fantasy 13 now. Once again, go subscribe to 16 Bit Junk because he is the fucking truth. Go subscribe to Black Widow because he is the fucking mastermind of SOCOM. Fix this shit. And, uh, yeah, June 21st, my fucking wall's gonna dock. I'm buying today's games and shit. And I will try to review them. I'm not sure if I feel like reviewing them, but whatever. Bye. Oh, yeah, and just for, uh, because you know it's my thing. Now, Birch, bitch.